We're going to see if ChatGPT can build us an indicator for NinjaTrader that will print buy and sell signals on the chart. Now, this is not trading advice. I do not recommend copying anything from this video. We are doing this for fun, so use at your own risk. In this video, I want to focus on building an actual usable indicator for NinjaTrader. I will probably try and automate this in a video maybe next week. I'm going to post it up here when that video is done. But for now, for this specific video, I'm just going to focus on the indicator itself. Anyways, let's see if ChatGPT can do this for us. Okay, so it gives us a simple moving average cross. And that's honestly not very helpful. That's very basic stuff. I want to see if we can make this a little bit more complex. So maybe add in a MACD and RSI as well. And it looks like we got something to work with here. All right, reading the code, it looks like our signal consists of the same MA cross from before, but our MACD diff, this is the histogram for the MACD, it must be above zero for longs or below zero for shorts. And for the RSI, it must be less than the oversold for a long or greater than the overbought for a short. All right, let's load it on our Ninja Trader and see if we can get it to work. So I'm going to open up Ninja Script Editor, start a new indicator, and I just want to call this the same one as the public class name from our ChatGPT indicator. That's just going to make it a little bit easier to copy and paste. Then we're just going to skip this part. We can change that after if we like. Now I'm going back to ChatGPT and copying the code then pasting it directly into our ninja script. And we get a bunch of these errors. Now, one thing that I've noticed trying to do a bunch of these videos now is that these AIs like to not use all the declarations that NinjaTrader offers. So these tend to cause a lot of problems when they're not used. So I'm going to revert everything back to how it was. I'm going to copy these declarations into a notepad and now I'm going to re-add our ChatGPT code and then paste our same declarations right into that code. And now it seems to compile without an issue. And let's see what we get when we load it on our chart. And we don't get a whole lot of signals here. If I check the draw objects properties, we see there is only one signal on our entire chart. And it's kind of hard to see where that signal actually is. So let's see if we can improve this even more. All right, I want two different things from ChatGPT and we're going to see if it can fix both of them at the same time. The first thing I want to see is I want some sort of a visual for the indicator. That way we know when the conditions are true or are about to be true. It's very hard to tell right now just staring at an empty chart. We really don't know what's going on. And also because these plots are just signals for our chart, these numbers by themselves don't really mean anything. So it will be much easier for users, especially for those wanting to automate this with Strategy Builder, if we made our signal values into a plus one for longs or a minus one for shorts. This is pretty standard when building these sorts of buy and sell signals for NinjaTrader. It's usually what I like to do for my own indicators as well. Okay, and now it looks like it added some plots for our MACD and our RSI. And it also changed our plot values to a plus one and a minus one. And then we reload it to our chart and it still looks kind of messy, but at least we have some visuals now. All right, now let's tackle some of the issues we are facing with this indicator. So first of all, this still looks very ugly and I still have no idea what is going on. For an example, this MACD line is usually supposed to be in the form of a histogram when you load the regular MACD indicator. So I really want to change this to something I'm used to using. So let's see if we can change that with ChatGPT. And also because this MACD is going to be part of our long and short conditions, I want it to be green when it's above zero, and then I want it to turn red when it falls below zero. And this RSI is also very hard to read by itself. I want to add an extra line that shows the overbought and the oversold zones. And the third thing I'm going to ask it to do is I want something that is going to highlight the background when a signal is printed. And that way it's going to be much easier for us to spot any signals that are on the chart. So looking at the code now, 
I don't see anything that is going to change this plot into a histogram or it looks like it's trying to actually add a rectangle instead of just changing the plot style. And I also don't like this draw region. To change the background color, you can just do something like a back brush. That is usually a much easier approach. Yeah, this is definitely overcomplicating a few things, but let's copy this over to our code and see what it does. And it looks like, yes, it's giving us some errors with that draw region. So let's try and fix all of this. This is kind of one of those things where you might run into issues if you don't already know what you're doing. Otherwise, you might have to keep feeding it prompts in order to get the correct answer. All right, so let's type out what we need. First thing is, can you change the plot style to a histogram or a bar instead of creating a rectangle? And the second thing that we need is, can you change the draw region into a back brush? All right, this actually looks like it fixes the histogram problem, and it looks like it should solve our back brush issue as well. Okay, let's copy this code and see if everything works out. And it actually compiles, okay. And now to load it on our chart, because we still have that old plot style, we actually have to remove it and re-add the indicator. Okay, and now we actually get a histogram and we get our RSI lines up here as well. And this looks so much better. But one thing with this histogram is I do want it to be maybe a little bit thicker. It's a little thin, a little hard to see right now. I think if we move it up to maybe five, how does that look? Uh, yeah, I think that looks so much better. But despite all of the visual improvements, we still have one major problem. We are still not getting any signals. And if we get no signals, we can't really use this at all. All right, so I'm going to try and clean this up even more and see if we can adjust some of the conditions. So I think that the RSI only executing at the overbought and oversold zones is a little bit of an overkill. We are looking for a momentum style trade while actively looking at a reversal style signal. These don't really complement each other. So what I'm going to do, instead of needing it to be above or below these lines, I want to make it so that for a long entry, all that it needs to do is the RSI must be below 50, but I do want the last two bars to be trending up. And for the short, I'm going to do the complete opposite. I want it to be above 50, but the last two bars are trending down. And I also want the plot for the RSI to change colors, depending if it's in a long condition or a short condition. And the last thing, I want to be able to tell when the moving averages actually cross and where the fast MA is in relation to the slow MA. So is the fast above the slow? Are we in a long trend? Or is the fast below the slow and are we in a short trend? The only problem with something like that is we can't really place one indicator on the main panel and other indicators in a secondary panel. We have to choose one or the other. So what I'm going to do instead is add a dot style plot and it's going to be placed directly on the zero line. And all this plot is going to do is change blue when the fast MA is above the slow MA to signify a long trend. And then it's going to change pink when the fast MA is below the slow MA. And that's going to signify a short trend. So again, just dots directly on that zero line. And I believe that should be everything. So let's type it out. Change the histogram default plot size to A5. All right, for the second condition, I want the RSI condition for a long to be below 50, but the last two RSI bars to be trending up. And for a short to be above 50, but the last two RSI bars to be trending down. Please also change the RSI plot color to green when a long is valid and red when a short is valid. Lastly, can we also create a dot style plot on the zero line that will turn Dodger blue when the fast MA is above the slow MA and then turn hot pink when the fast MA is below the slow MA. 
All right, let's run this and see what it gives us. Okay, I'm actually very impressed with this. It looks like everything is okay. It changed the histogram to a five, perfect. Our RSI conditions here changed. Yes, all of these seem to be okay. All right, let's copy and paste this into our script and we get this error. And it's because we did not create a new stroke like this one up here. All right, let's see if ChatGPT can fix this for us if we copy this error code directly into it. And it looks like it recognized the error, but it's on the wrong line. All right, I'll try and copy this again, just in case I'm missing something. Nope, okay. Okay, we know it's this line giving us trouble. I'm just going to let it know what it is and try again. All right, now this looks good. Let's copy it, test it, and we finally get it compiled. All right, now I'm just going to refresh my chart and we are doing good. We have our RSI painting during the valid times and we have our MA printing on the serial line with the colors changing. Okay, all seems good. Okay, so the visuals all look good. Only problem now is we are still not getting any signals. Well, maybe except one, but one is not good enough. We need to see a few more signals to make this indicator at the very least usable. So I think I'm going to make some more changes to the RSI just one last time. So for my longs, as long as it's not in the overbought zone, so under 70, and for my shorts, as long as it's not in that oversold zone, so as long as it stays above 30, that is going to be our new RSI condition. All right, so we're going to try this one last time and see if this fixes our no signal problem. Okay, everything looks to be good. Everything looks exactly the same as it was, except for the part that we told it to change, which is good. We wanted an updated RSI condition. All right, so it all looks to be good now. All right, so let's copy and paste this over, compile it, and finally, we see some action. All right, so here, our blue dot tells us when the MA cross actually happened, and then both of our RSI and MACD plots were green, so it tells us it's a valid long trade. And this one looks like it would have been a nice winner as well. And if we scroll, this could have gone either way. I'd have to see the bar in a smaller time frame. This short, we got the MA cross to the short side, while the MACD and the RSI are in the red. So that is a valid short trade. And maybe we get a quick scalp, but probably a looser if I'm being honest. And if we keep scrolling, yeah, we get a few more losers, but these are also overnight. It might not be the best to trade this when there is no volume. And there definitely seems to be quite a few losers triggering overnight, which makes sense. This is a momentum style trade, which works best when there's actually volume in the market. And over here, maybe not a full one-to-one -one risk, but maybe a good quick scalp. These two, probably a good nice little trade here. Now, this definitely needs some more testing, but like I said at the start, this is not trading advice. The goal with this video was to create an actual functioning indicator for NinjaTrader using AI. And it looks like we were able to actually achieve this. And speaking of automating, while recording this next video, I realized I completely overlooked what would probably be the most important part of this indicator. I forgot to add a public series for our plots, which is actually needed to automate this on NinjaTrader strategy builder. So I asked ChatGPT to make that adjustment and it was able to fix it without issue. On next week's video, I'm going to show you how to automate this exact indicator on NinjaTrader. That way we can really test how accurate it actually is. But if you want to download this indicator, it's going to be available on our website, tradesaver.com. And it's also going to be posted on our Discord where you can find a ton of other free NinjaTrader related content and also a free trial of the Predator X order entry that is going to help you automate this and many other indicators as well. But I hope you guys found this video useful. As always, take care, enjoy.